welcome. Today we are going to focus on fabric selection for rock candy. I stuck a whole bunch of them up on my wall for you. Um, so I see people popping in. Is anybody saying anything yet? I don't see any um, questions. And I just want to make sure. Um, so say if you're here, say hi and where you're from. I'm going to check on my um, phone to see what's going on. Like I said, that's the first time I'm doing this from my laptop. So learn new stuff all the time. Okay, let's see. Okay, so there are comments. I'm just not seeing them on my laptop. Hmm. Super weird. Okay, so I might have to have my phone here to see what your questions are. I'm not really sure why I can't see them on my computer. Um, but good morning from Indianapolis. Um, and from other places, like Nebraska, Arizona, Portugal, Wisconsin. <gasps> do we have a surprise guest while we wait for everybody to show up? We do. We do. Come here. Come here. Come here, little guy. <gasps> Say hi. Say hi. You want to stand up? You want to stand up? <gasps> do you see yourself? Do you see yourself? <gasps> hi. Hi. Are you looking at daddy? Say good morning. Say good morning. Yeah. You don't get to hang out in mommy's office too often, don't you? Yeah. All right, you can plop your butt right there on a rock candy. All right, so for some reason I'm not seeing the um, captions across here, but I'm seeing them here. I don't really know why. Um, hi, Nady. Nady's watching. Say hi, big brother. Say hi, big brother. Happy to have all of you here this morning. And um, if you're watching this recorded because you missed it live, welcome, welcome. Um, today we are going to go over fabric selection. So I've got a bunch of things to show you. We're going to talk about what to look for. And we're also going to go over the worksheet. You want to hold the crayons for me? You want to be my helper? There you go. Got the crayons? Don't eat them. Oh, we're going to eat the box. We're going to go over the worksheet um, and how you can use that. Um, does that box taste good? <laughs> It's just a crayon box. Um, so yeah, all right, looks like people are starting to come in. I'm just gonna wait another minute and then get into the, the meat of this. Are you enjoying eating that box of crayons? It's definitely a second child mom moment. I would never have let me eat a box of crayons. Um, I mean, it's not the crayon, it's just the box, but still. Hi. You want to show everybody? See, this was my big brother's outfit that he wore when I took him to quilt market. It says, I'm the sidekick. Because on the butt it says, Who's your sidekick? Yeah, it's when he crawls, you see it. I mean, he's not crawling yet, but eventually. Yeah, your brother was crawling when he wore these. Aunt Karen made them. Um, we keep pausing. Is anyone else pausing? Deborah says it's pausing. And. I don't know if it's your internet mom or what, but the same thing that used to happen mom when you would sign on is happening with dad. It says, Chris Elliott Herman is watching over and over again. So I don't know why. All right, mommy's gonna get to work, okay? We say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say uh, hi, everybody, and bye. Have a good day. Okay. I love you. Be a good boy for dada. Thanks, dad. All right. So it is pausing. Hmm. All right, I am going to turn off my phone because maybe having it both is messing up and that means I won't be able to see the questions and the captions, um, but Rachel is watching and Rachel can answer um, and if there's anything that she needs me to talk about, she'll text me. So I just um, turned off the streaming on my phone. So. If it was pausing for you and it's not now, please comment to let uh, Rachel know if it's going better and she will text me to confirm. Um, if I don't hear from anybody, I'll sue. Fingers crossed it's working. Um, so welcome, welcome. Um, I'm very excited to um, be doing the Rock Candy Sew Along um, with you guys. We did Rock Candy as part of Journey to Nebula last fall and um, it was very successful and it's one of my favorite favorite patterns so i wanted to bring it back we have and when i say we 
it's Rachel and I. Um, Rachel's my, my right hand, my left hand, she keeps everything going. Um, we have a lot of fun stuff planned for next year. We haven't told you about most of it yet because life kids can't guarantee it's all gonna happen, but fingers crossed, we got a lot of stuff planned. And so we kind of wanted to like ease back into that um, with rock candy. So I have, as you can tell, made rock candy many, many times. Um, how many do I have pinned up here? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pinned up here. And I've got another five in front of me. And then they're not even all here because some of them are out on trunk shows. So I've made this more than 20 times. Um, why have I made it 20 times? It's fast. Um, once you get the hang of it, it's easy. It's um, versatile. It's fun. It just has so many possibilities. It makes a great gift. Um, some of these I don't actually own. I had to get back from my mom yesterday. This one and this one and this one and another, this one up here. Um, I've given a bunch of them away. It just really is a fun, fun um, pattern to do. So in order to help you with fabric selection, I've given you some tools. First big tool is the worksheet. So if you don't have this printed yet or you don't have this, um, we emailed it out um, when you joined the Rock Candy Sew Along, as well as this morning. If you happen to be watching this in the Facebook group or on YouTube and you haven't signed up yet, go ahead and sign up um, at the link in the comments below so that you get the weekly email and you get important things like this worksheet. A couple different ways to use this worksheet. You can use markers, crayons. Um, if you happen to not even have these, you can do a lot of things with pen. You could just draw stripes, polka dots, kind of plan it out that way. Um, another option, something that I often do is I will cut from like the tiniest scraps, the unusable ones, tiny little diamonds, and I will use um, double-sided tape and stick them on once I've kind of come up with my arrangement, but I'll kind of move them around like puzzle pieces. Um, so in this case, I, you know, went from like a purple to a pink to a light pink. You can be totally scrappy with this, which is what the original sample Totally scrappy. Um, there's two diamonds here from each color and they don't correspond with where they are. So like these two are the same and then these two are the same and then these two are the same and then these two. Or you can go for more of like a planned route, which is here I used six fabrics and the same fabric is on the inside for all six. And then these are all in the same placement. So they're evenly spaced. Same thing with this print, same thing with this print. Um, both work. Um, you can do a combination of things. Um, like this one is also planned, but in a different way than this one. So this one, same six in the middle. And then I kind of made chevrons, um, with the other fabrics. Um, this is another scrappy one, another scrappy one. Um, this one's scrappy and everything is used four times. Um, the fabric calls for charm pack. And the reason that it calls for a charm pack is because um, a couple of reasons. One, we all have them. We all have a lot of them um, in our stash. They are uh, that impulse purchase when you're at a quilt shop and you're like, that's a super cute collection. I want to buy that. I'll use it for something one day. And then it sits in your stash because you're like, can't find the right project. So we all have a ton of them. That's one reason. The other is it gives you a lot of variety without having to buy something big. Um, you know, fat quarter bundles cost more money, give you a lot of fabric, and you don't need this much fabric. You can make a lot of rock candies from one bundle. Um, so it calls for a charm pack, but you don't have to make it from a charm pack. You can make it from scraps. You can make it from fat quarters. You can make it from fat eights. You can make it from jelly rolls. Um, basically anything two and a half inches wide or wider will work to cut um, your pieces here. And, um, Every time I look at you guys, my glasses, the reflection is driving me nuts and they're sliding on my face. So you're not used to seeing without glasses. I'm not used to seeing without glasses, but I'm taking them off because it's driving me a little crazy. Sorry for the pause there. This is real. This is live. This is not a recorded edited video. So um, that's why it calls for a charm pack. If you have a charm pack, great. They, they work great. Plenty of these have been made with a charm pack. Um, I grabbed a couple examples to show you. So this one um, is like black and white and gray and small scale. Small scale things work best here, small or medium, um, because the pieces are not huge. Um, so um, that would be good. This one is a basics. 
Um, this is grunge, basic gray, but it's like a whole rainbow. Rainbows work great. Um, you can see I did rainbow with this one here. Um, this is the cool color section of the rainbow. Um, you also can go uh, a much more limited palette route, which is this one. So this one, you might not even be able to see barely that there's two colors here. This is the uh, highlighter. It was a Kona color of the year a number of years ago and white offset by a really, really bright pink. Um, and so these kind of blend together far away, but then up close, you can see the detail and it really pops. Um, I generally recommend high contrast from your shapes to your background. Um, I went high contrast here and here and here and here. Um, you don't have to, you can see here, less high contrast, but you do kind of lose the shapes if you go less high contrast. So something to think about is what do you want? What fits in your home or the person you're gifting this for? Um, is high contrast something you're looking for? So interesting thing, um, I've made some samples with this same set of solids. The original cover is this one and this lighter one were from the same pack. This is from the same pack. Um, so is this white one, which I don't think you can really see. So that's kind of out of the frame. I think I have another one. I do. Okay. So same fabrics, different background. I'm going to show you how much the background really changes things. So these are the exact same fabrics with different background. And actually they're kind of in the medium. So they contrast really well off the black and off the white, but they don't contrast as much off the gray. doesn't mean this one doesn't have value. It just means it's different. So you have to think about do you want high contrast, not high contrast, high contrast? Do you want to go, you know, a lighter route, a darker route? Um, I will post some, um, if you guys want, leave in the comments, some up close pictures of more of these um, in the Facebook group, if that's something that you guys want when I take them down later today. So just leave a comment and tell me if that's something you want. Um, but it, it fascinates me to know, and I love looking at the hashtag on Instagram, how different one pattern can look, um, you know, just from fabric selection and from placement. Um, so this is, this is something to think about when you are figuring that out. So in addition to charm pack, as I mentioned, something else that you can use is jelly roll. So this happens to be leftover jelly roll strips. Um, Vanessa from V & Co, love her stuff, have loved her stuff for a long time, have used it for many different things, and I have um, a stash upstairs where I put leftover um, fabrics and all of the two and a half inch ones are stacked together. So these would be great, these, this, you know, you wouldn't see as much because it's more of a medium to large scale, but this one would be great. And you can see sometimes the end is already cut in an angle because I might've made rock candy or something similar. Um, so these are fantastic to use up in a project like this. Um, fat quarters also work well. So this is um, a fat quarter bundle. I think I got this from Quilty Box of uh, Tula's um, True Colors. So these have a really good size scale for, for this. Um, basics work well for this. Um, this is a rainbow of fabrics from Ann Kelly. Um, so we got some solids and some chevrons and some dots. Um, another great option. Um, solids are always a good option. Um, the, the black, white, and gray ones I've shown you are solids. This one is solids. Um, and then this blue and green one down here um, are my wedding color solids for any of you who've been around for a while. Um, I got married six years ago. I got married six years ago. Wow. I did. I got married six years ago. And, um, those are my wedding colors. Um, I made our wedding quilt, which was our canopy above us when we got married. And I also made at the time a boomerang science fair, a Lotus and a night sky out of our wedding colors. Um, and these two rock candies. Um, so solids really do work well with this pattern. So if you have a, a stash of solids laying around, another good option. Um, then I found this one this morning that I think um, would be great. I'm considering, it's like I, you have a fabric and you think of it as precious and you wanna hack into it, but I might hack into it for this one. Um, this is Ariel um, Wyndham by Tamara Kate. And I just think these, these small little florals 
would look really good and might be able to do some fussy cutting with the butterflies. So fussy cutting. Um, I have actually never, to my knowledge, correct me if I'm wrong, shown in a sew along, I've done it in classes sometimes, how to do fussy cutting um, with my rulers. And um, it's not as hard as you would think, especially with diamonds. Diamonds work really well. Um, and so in the video that is going to come out a week from today, next week, I'm going to show you how to fussy cut. So if you have something, especially uh, a flower, a butterfly, certain novelty prints, especially a lot of Tula stuff, um, or something like this, say you really wanted to feature this flower, I'm going to show you how we do that. So sneak peek for next week is you're going to take your sidekick ruler. Where's my regular one? Hiding. You're going to take your sidekick ruler. So should go over supplies today. Need your pattern, rock candy pattern. If you don't have this, contact your favorite local quilt shop or favorite online local quilt shop and buy this. Um, it is also available as a PDF um, from my website. Um, I don't sell most of my patterns as PDF, but for convenience right now, I'm selling this one and a couple others. But I highly encourage you, if possible, buy the paper, support your local quilt shop. You also need the ruler, sidekick ruler. Um, if you've done the journey to nebula last year if you did nebula this year you probably already have this um this ruler is used for a ton of different patterns not just rock candy so it's very versatile once you get it what you're going to do with your ruler is you're going to add some blue painters tape to basically make a viewfinder um and when i'll go over this next week and you use that viewfinder to fussy cut um into your diamond and i did some fun stuff that i am excited to Kind of, I've never actually fussy cut. No, that's a lie. It's one right here. Um, rarely have I fussy cut. So this one, I'll if you want, I'll post pictures later. I think this one that I posted recently, maybe yesterday. I don't know. Um, the hands from Tula Homemade. Um, I fussy cut each of the hands so that you have the little heart. You have the one with the needle, with the tweezers, with the scissors. Um, and then this print, I also fussy cut the seam ripper and the scissors and the rotary cutter. Um, it's the kind of thing that is just adds that little little extra touch fussy cutting. Um, so that is something we're gonna go over next week. So I can't see your questions, as we mentioned. I haven't gotten any texts from Rachel, so I assume that means she's been able to answer all your questions. Um, feels really weird that I can't see them. I like answering them. Um, but I'm gonna go over some tools real quick. So if you are brand new here and you've never done a sew along with me before, welcome, welcome, super happy to have you here. There are some tools that I find helpful um, in this process. Um, so I'm gonna grab some of those and you're gonna need the basic stuff, sewing machine, rotary cutter, thread. I like to use um, Aurifil 50 weight and um, 2600 is my go-to medium gray. I find that it blends into like almost everything. Um, a stiletto is very handy. Um, when working with uh, these pieces, you do have bias edges, you do have small things that can kind of get stuck in the throat plate or you don't wanna get your fingers too close. So a stiletto can be very helpful. This is a heat resistant stiletto. One end is a stiletto and the other end is a, I think it's silicone of some kind heat resistant. And so it works really well, the iron. I suggest you press seams open with all of my patterns, especially um, the ones that use my rulers. And um, you, this can help you get close um, to the iron so you don't burn your finger. Um, so that is another another important tool. Um, I'm literally staring at my, my wall of tools to see what else um, it's super helpful to tell you about. Um, my seam roller. Again, pressing seams open. I use a seam roller by Violet Craft. Um, it you basically just kind of go like this on the seam and um, none of these are required but I just find them very helpful so if you're putting together a holiday wish list or you just want to treat yourself um, good things to have around um, are things like this um, so tools went over the coloring sheet a little bit okay fun um, ways to expand um, possibilities with fabric selection um, on your rock candy is choosing a fabric that is an ombre. Um, Vanessa, who I mentioned earlier, V and Co is kind of like the queen of, of those. So if you had a strip like this, um, it goes from dark to light and back to dark again, and you cut all of your diamonds from the same fabric, it is amazing um, the variety that you get um, from one fabric. You don't necessarily even need a lot of different fabrics. So from one fabric, you're getting 
diamonds that you could put next to each other that look completely different. So I um, am thinking about, so far I have, I don't know, maybe half of what I need. I'm thinking about cutting more of these and um, making a rock candy where it's just one fabric. I've never done that before. Kind of see how that goes. Um, all good. Rachel said all good. So you're all good. Um, I think that's pretty much everything I have to cover today. I don't want to make this too long. Um, I want to kind of get into this. So I am available today. Um, today for those, it is Thursday, October 14th, had to check my phone. Um, but I'm going to be in the Facebook group um, more today uh, than average to answer your questions. So if you are trying to decide between this and that, between two different things, please take a picture, post it um, into the group. You can ask for my opinion. You can ask for the group's opinion. You can get some feedback. Um, next week, we are going to focus on cutting. And then week three, we're going to focus on placement. So even if you've decided on your fabrics, you don't necessarily have to know your exact placement today. And you can go ahead and cut more diamonds than what you need if you want to, or you can kind of wait. Um, that's how I sometimes end up with a bunch of them that are in the same is because I just kind of go off cutting diamonds and then I lose track of how many I've counted and then I just kind of um, have fun with it. Um, and that way you have more options to play with um, in your arrangement. You also could cut your focus diamonds and wait to cut your backgrounds because you're not sure if you want to have high contrast, low contrast, medium, what direction you're going in. So please go ahead, post a picture if you have questions. Um, that's the joy of a sew along is I'm here. Um, your friends are here. Everybody's doing this together. We have over um, 2,500 people um, signed up to do Rock Candy. So um, it's pretty awesome that we're going to have that many people doing it all at once. And it's a great time to um, have community and do this together. So I look forward to seeing your questions today and your fabric selection. And um, you can also go ahead and color in your worksheet, show us your worksheet. And uh, yeah. I think that's it. So I will see you in the Facebook group and then I will see you back here next week um, to go over cutting.